Praise the Lord, everyone. Today's blog title is Spirit of the Lord. Okay, all right. One person asked their question. Okay? They asked. The Father... In Corinthians chapter 8 and verse 6. We refer to the Father and the Son and the Holy. He said you refer to three different things and said they're one. Can we clarify? Six is it, but to us there is but one God. We believe there's one God, okay? We're gonna follow. Remember this, we're gonna follow. Let's back up one more. The world believes. believes in many gods and many lords but we're not them we're separate right but to us there is but one God he himself the father for whom all things of him are all things and we are in him and one Lord Jesus Christ that's not meaning you're adding a second person by him that there's one God the Father of whom all things and we we in him and one Lord Jesus Christ, by whom all things, and we by him. Right? So if we have three, it's not clear. Now we're going to go to Colossians. Still talking about one God here. For in him, and in the English word, him meaning singular, meaning one, for in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Meaning all, okay? Fullness. Godhead and the body not bodies but body okay going back to 2nd Corinthians 3 and 17 Israel, the Lord our God, is one Lord. One. That's it. It says, now the Lord is that spirit. Jehovah is a spirit, right? It's all the same. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. So the spirit of the Lord is here now, right? And the spirit's everywhere. So now, it never says Now these three verses are not talking about three separate people. They all talk 
talk about Him, the one God. All three verses are about the same God, Jesus. So there's not the Spirit of the Father, Spirit of the Son, Spirit of the Holy Ghost. It says right here, there is one Spirit. There is one body. The Father, everything that's made by Him, Jesus Christ, everything is Him. Even as you are called in one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one name, not three, one. One God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in you all. Romans 8 and 9. Recently, we read the Spirit of the Lord, but this one says Spirit of God, Spirit of Christ. Again, Spirit of the Lord, Spirit of God, Spirit of Christ. Are they meaning different? But we just read there's one Spirit. They're all the same, right? Paul's writing. He's writing about God. He's excited. He's our Lord, our Christ, our Savior. Spirit of God, Spirit of God. If he keeps just writing, Spirit of God. He wants to He wants to impress you that He's all these different things to us. He's our Lord, our Savior, our God, our Adonai, our Jehovah. He's the Lord Jesus. Right? It's all it's all the same God. But ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. One spirit, that's it. If so, by that spirit of God dwelleth in you. Some people believe that God stays in heaven, can't come in, come down or come into us, right? God is powerful. His spirit goes out everywhere. And it comes into our hearts and dwelleth. Through our surrender and our belief and our obedience to God. And we voice and we open up our mouths. And his spirit comes down and controls our tongue. And our tongue begins to move in speaking in the language we're not born with called speaking in tongues. It's very simple. You have to believe an open heart. Right? Now, if any man, again, talking about men and women here, doesn't matter, they're white or black, English, or, or if they speak or sign or whatever their language is, talking about all mankind if any man have not the spirit of Christ okay again spirit of God spirit of Christ being the same thing he is none of his God wants to be connected to you but you have to surrender and believe that there's one God you have to believe what they're talking about in Corinthians and Colossians and Ephesians and Romans. That is why that Jesus is God. Jesus is light. He is the way, the truth, the life. Has all he only has the power to forgive sin. In the past, God was flesh. He was buried and resurrected. 
and his glory changed his body. His fleshly body died, but his spirit resurrected him, and now he's changed, right? He's still living. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. I love the word of God. Let's go ahead and pray. Thank you, Father in heaven. I ask that your spirit, your one spirit, God, would come down and touch whoever has an open heart and that wants to believe in you and that you lead them to a church, God. And they experience your, the preaching of your word. And I pray that you that church preaches salvation of Acts 2 and 38. Repent. Be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins. And get the Holy Ghost. That is the preaching we need to push away the worldliness. In the name of Jesus Christ, I love you.